Cisco SecureX, Automation Orchestration, Threat Grid URL. So the goal here is, is we've got some default workflows that Cisco's provided us. This one here is around submitting an observation type of URL and having it automatically sent to ThreatGrid and detonated. So there's one piece we need to do, even though these are default and they're built out, we need to create or add the API from ThreatGrid into the orchestration tool. So we're gonna go into global variables and we're gonna go ahead and add a value here. Now this is already created, that threat grid API key in global variables was already there. And so what I need to do though is update it with my API key. So we'll go ahead and copy this. And what I'll do at the same time is I'll just go to the threat grid main dashboard um, just to get it ready. And we'll go back and we'll put the value in and we'll save that out. So once that's done, we'll go ahead and go back into the workflow and we're gonna run it. But first I wanna just see, this is the, you know, the uh, recent samples that were submitted. So what we'll do here is run this. Again, we have to give it a observation type or observable type. In this case, it's URL, and we need to pass that check. And we'll put in the observation value or observable value of uh, www.internetbadguys.com. And we can see it passed that first check URL. And you can see the threat grid submit URL is also green. So that's good sign. So if we look here, we should see a recent sample that was submitted through the API and through SecureX. Now we could have triggers that launch this automatically, right? It is it has the ability to do automation um, as well, right? And so that automated capability would be maybe trigger based on schedule or email events as an example. And so we can, you can see, you know, the information around the playbook that's being used, the operating system, you can see here, it already launched the the uh, Explorer as an example, and we'll try to go to that internetbadguys.com. Uh, I can also interact with this, right? Now that we're looking specifically at Threat Grid at this point in time, but remember, SecureX drove this action. And again, triggers could be schedules or email events today. So let's go ahead and look at one that's already completed and run. Uh, and what we can see here is all the behavioral indicators here, what I love about it is that internal targets, I can see everything, right? DNS, traffic, HTTP, but internal targets lets me know if I have anything in my organization that has seen this, right? So this could be an endpoint as an example. From here also, I can take action, right? We can see all the artifacts, we can see the registry keys, you know, modify, created, deleted, and file activities, right? So it's, a, you know, what you would expect in any sandbox, right? Um, I, I would also argue that there's some capabilities that are unique, but uh, here nor there. Um, here, I, I went into the MITRE framework and it breaks down any behavioral indicator that was flagged and the associated MITRE attack uh, element, whether that be tactics and, and slash techniques, right? Again, from here, I can drive SecureX orchestration as well, right? So I can take a forensic snapshot or isolate a host um, and take a couple of actions, not just one. And we'll talk more about that in upcoming videos. So here, we just pivoted into investigate from Cisco Threat Response. I can now block this domain. Again, I don't have to go into any other tool. I can work from the tool that I'm in. So how cool is that?